heat. Next thing, <laughs> big, f massive explosion. Frightened the shiter, the two of us. Not literally now, mind you, but it wasn't far off it. We get our American news and version casts from uh, Kelvin Cooperage. My father started Kelvin Cooperage in Scotland in yeah. 1963. Kevin moved here in the 1990s. The light bulb moment was, why not fix barrels in Kentucky before we ship them to Scotland? And is your background in the cask industry or...? Well, I grew up around it, but I was actually uh, I'm a recovering lawyer. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's raw material for the new barrels. This is all American white oak Quercus alba. When you're looking at the grain, you've got these uh, medullary rays. You're creating barriers for the liquid, making yeah. it liquid tight. In between these light lines here, that's where your tyloses are. Yeah. And the tyloses are another barrier. Each, each cast has a different amount of stains. Yeah, completely. No satin. We're separating. We've got wides, narrows, and mediums. So in every barrel, we're going to follow a rough sequence. We want a mix of all of those in every barrel. We have to get the wood hot and wet, wet, so we can bend it without breaking it. So we spray it down with water and let it dry. So here we're planing top and bottom. We've got a nice flat joint here. So now we'll bring it over here. So this is drilling and doweling, and then he's laying it out here. And now we're going to cut the circle out, and all this, all these offcuts, fuel for the fire. Here we do the air water pressure test, and then we'll brand it. <laughs> oh, hello, darling. <laughs> what am I missing? <laughs> You would never dream of filling a cast that you didn't know the history of. Yeah. You know, the other industry we're talking about, they will refill a cast well, without I, I, knowing the history. I know our wood source on our new barrels. I know the region, I know the mill. I know if we bring it in here, toast it correctly, uh, and char it correctly, we're going to get results. What way do you roll it? Just like that? Yeah. <laughs> Barrel that's well taken care of will live, outlive any human. Just steel, hoops, pressure, and, that's it, and wood joints, and it can last for 120, 150 years. It's crazy. Every day's got its own challenges. It's something completely different than I ever imagined I'd be doing, and I love it. So we put that rubber bung and we pump the air pressure in. Now it's pressurized, and he's just looking for any signs of water. You can see how much air pressure is actually in there. And so this just ensures a perfect bung hole, basically. That's not a charm you go out and stay in general I know. We're actually the only place on the planet where you can go and under one roof you can see raw lumber, you can see it manufactured into a new oak barrel, you can see the, the once used bourbon barrel coming back in after it's been used for four, six, eight, ten years, be sold again maybe to a brewery who will use it for six, eight weeks to make a beer, and then we'll actually buy that beer cast back and we'll rejuvenate it. These are our barrels that we're buying back now for the first time. We're buying them back, we're loading them up and we're selling them again.